All right, welcome back. If you're watching this over on YouTube, we are playing Naya Legends one last time. Decided, decided to do this over Demir Quasi Sacrifice. We did a um, poll in the chat and this won by a little bit. This deck's just so much fun. So I'm, I'm glad we're playing this deck again. Um, I really enjoy it. So this is our last uh, league, most likely, I guess, unless it ends in like you know, 20 minutes or whatever, and then we'll play another one. Um, the last league before Ravnica Allegiance on a Thursday for the 12 hour stream there. Um, so we're making one small change from what we just played a little bit ago. We're taking out the Black Blade Reforged and putting in Mox Amber, putting that back in because we were getting stuck on lands as, uh, you know, weren't able to cast like our Ruinous Blast. So we're going to try the Mox Amber back in there. Adventurous Impulse was a, a, a good recommendation um, that somebody had in chat. And, um, okay, Anti, you don't need to type that every single minute. You're good. That's okay. Um, Adventurous Impulse is pretty interesting here. Because Mox Amber, like, Mox Amber doesn't help like play a four drop or a five drop earlier like if we just don't have lance it's only good if we have one of these two or three mana things in where adventurous impulse would help us hit that land drop you know it's basically it's like adventurous impulse i'm gonna try this out um yeah you're just waiting for the new set so badly no i understand it's only 37 hours away for us though um, let's try it out because it, it's like it's so we get to play a 26 land, but it's not actually a 26 land and um, Yeah, I kind of like it. Let's try it out All right, Naya legends Hmm. No, I certainly like Elf more than Mox or Impulse. <clears throat> Land Elf is very important. We saw, like, that last time we got to play uh, earlier on Curve a lot of games there because of Land War Elf. Like, we don't have the red mana here, but... Like, Land of War Elf means we'll be able to have turn 3 Shalai, turn 4 Dawnbringer. You know, that's going to be better than, like, a Mox Amber. Like, Mox Amber wouldn't... Like, if you think about Mox Amber with this hand, it does, does basically nothing. tokens okay so do we want to play Shalai or Rada I think we just play Shalai and then uh, we can like play Rada next turn attack with Shalai and Rada and then if we and then if we draw a land we get to <clears throat> play Squee as well all right Martyr of Dusk, Dusk. I think, you know, I thought a lot more highly of our opponent's deck before that Martyr of Dusk. Um, I think I'll just sit back, though. You know, like, we're going to win this game kind of sitting back. I don't think we, we really need to. We don't need to, like, Attack with Shalai, and then I guess I don't even know how Grand Warlord Rada is dying because that's hexproof. Um, all right, and now we miss our land drop, so we'll definitely attack here, get the extra mana, play Dawnbringer.
or not. Do I just like activate July? I think so. I think this game's over. The old school jam. Yeah, Rada's been Yeah, Rada's been very good and yeah. Land Rolf did its job. Just play that just doesn't even matter. Do I go with meat or garden combination pasta sauce? I like them both. I would probably go meat myself. I do like both of those though. All right, we'll get Urza's, another Urza's Ruinous Blast in here and some Deafening Clarions, maybe, maybe not. We'll cut Huatli, cut a Vivian. Play another Tristani. And another Blast. That looks good to me. I guess oh, I, have, I have the extra Shalai and Dawnbringer I should just be playing. Yeah, we're running this deck back. Um... It's just so much fun to play. And we had some mana troubles, which ended our first game. And keep the adventures in pulse. That's basically going to be a land. And so did a did a vote and decided to play this deck yet again. Hmm. The problem is we have Timber Gorge here. Um, where we, we can't curve four into five with Timber Gorge. And if I would have shocked in for the Land War Elf, I would have been able to just play the Timber Gorge there. So getting punished for not shocking in for the Land War Elf, I was thinking that we didn't need to, you know, we'd be able to play those two, but certainly getting punished for that. All right, not getting punished anymore. Now we drew our other land, we're good. So I didn't play Elf turn one because I just thought that we could we didn't need to pay the two life, that we could save the two life to not play Elf turn one because I already knew that on turn two I was gonna be playing Do not Elf plus friend. Impulse. I will but you know, it, it did cost us. Well the opponent's deck looks a lot better than it did last game. Amara into history into a Johnny. That's certainly strong. But we do have Dawnbringer. Dawnbringer really a uh, real tough to beat. That takes out a Johnny. Gain five life. Finished. Now we got the two angels. Ooh, they're a divine visitation deck. That makes sense. I don't know if that attack is too good. Letting us gain a lot of life just to get an angel into play.
We're gaining 10. Oh, I'm not... I'm not going back to SCG. I'm not going back. Okay. Let's have Aurelia and Lyra end these games. What's my favorite magic card? It is Courser of Prufix. So DJ Poly B says that's going to be a, an answer to a trivia question later. That was just a company I used to work for. Did not have a good separation with them. Would not want to go back. And Dawnbreaker number two. Really glad it's not Ixalan's binding. Get this other Dawnbringer. So yeah, actually, no, no blocks, because they, they get a 4-4 uh, with blocking there. Right, because I, I forgot about... Uh, forgot about Divine Visitation there for a sec. <laughs> yeah, that's a good... Was Impulse good? Yeah, it was, it was, it was good. It did its thing. It, it saw three cards. Um... I wish I would have taken Tristani, but we got it. We got a land drop with it. Oh wow! This game's not over. This game is not over. All right, this game's over. I mean, the game really was over, but. So, our opponent has to chump lock Dawnbringer. But let's see. So they get, so they get two more tokens next turn. So it's two more angels. Then Dawnbringer, if they block with four things, oh, okay. Well, now they have a better chance. Game may not be over now. What are they doing attacking with these? What is this attack? This is a horrible attack. I was thinking they're flipping a legion's landing or something. What is this attack? They're just going to take lethal on the way back. Nice. Got it some good pi got some good pasta there. Nice. Okay. Uh They're at three. How many blockers? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, giving it to Captain Lannery Storm. Go Mentor. So Captain Lannery Storm has Trample now. Because it can be six power with trample. Because uh, it's five power right now. I can sack. I can sacrifice a treasure to give it plus one plus zero. So I can sack the treasure. So it's six power trample. Down to negative four. They got rid of my angels, though. 
All right, want to know. So we've we have certainly done well against aggressive decks so far. <laughs> Negative four is a bad life to be at. That is true. All right, I need to edit the deck list too to take out the black blade and add in one adventurous impulse. I just realized that didn't change that in the deck list command. Now it's updated. Da -da -da. Hmm. Same kind of hand. So, Lana War Elf. It's certainly good for us, but it's, it's vulnerable. I'll just play it. Whoops. So, like, removal spell on the Lana War Elf. Oh, yeah, I'm, I won. I'm 1 0. Good call. My bad. So it is vulnerable, but... Alright. They, uh... Hopefully don't kill it. Is this our rematch against Mono Blue Aggro? Looks like it. Against Mono Blue-ish Aggro. We got that land. Helping us out. One more land for this Dawnbringer. Is Squee a spirit? No. So I'm going to pop up Aurelia and go and attack with both and get the Mentor trigger on Land War Elf. See, this is why this deck's so fun. It's just like, it's not just filled with four ofs, you know? Like, look at these six cards we have. We have Land War Elf, Squee, Aurelia, Lyra, Urza's Ruinous Blast. And Vivian. It's just a hodgepodge of cards. <laughs> I could honestly just keep attacking. I'll play Vivian. They have a counter spell. I'd rather Vivian get countered than Blast. Blast should be able to basically end this game. Most wounds can heal. Yeah, I made this deck. Yep. Attacking into Squee, huh? All right. All right, I think it's time just to cast Blast. And even if this doesn't resolve, we'll have Land Werewolf to block Trickster. <laughs> Squee made the deck. Ugh, it did not resolve. 
But I think it's good just to play it because, you know, then maybe Dawnbringer will resolve kind of thing. Hey, what's up, Mike? Resolve. No counter. Ugh. Why are they retorting everything? So many retorts. <laughs> no. No, Mike, I'm not in that. Another target creature you control can't be blocked this turn except for by spirits. I think they're supposed to do that um, before before blockers. Yeah, I didn't even realize that that was an ability on the card. Never seen that activated. They would have like basically killed us. Oh. Uh, opponent. Poor opponent. Poor opponent. Alright, other blast. Coil. Not cannons. Clarion. Dawnbringer Shalai. Uh, Huatli out. Weatherlight out, Karn out, Vivian trimmed, Tristani, just kind of out. One squee out. Dude, yeah, oh yeah. I'm definitely hyped for the new set too. Gonna be streaming for 12 hours straight. Why Huatli out? Because it shouldn't be out. It's back in. I was I was planning on putting it back in, but um, I was kind of taking out other things. But anyway, um, one vow out. There we go. Yeah, so 12-hour stream on Thursday. And we got to our other sub-goal of getting another emote unlocked today. So we are, we're going to have another... Tw so 12-hour stream on Thursday plus 12-hour stream on either Friday or Saturday. Uh, which one of those dates to still be determined... Or I guess maybe Sunday also. So Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. One of those one of those three days we'll be doing another twelve hour stream. But definitely Thursday. And then another day this weekend. Yeah, I'm gonna be using gems for limited. Yes. Right now we're also gonna be opening up fifteen RNA packs. Um we are opening a pack at the beginning of the stream and then a pack every hour uh, of the 12 hour stream on Thursday. That's 13 packs, so then we'll have to sp sprinkle in another two packs somewhere. Um, no idea, Zero Born. I don't, I don't know anything about any extra codes or anything. Hey, we actually have like lands here. We got like four lands in our hand. That's really good. We haven't seen like more than two lands in a long time. I I will be waiting. Like the the duplication protection thing starts with Ravnica Allegiance, as far as I know. When you brew a deck like this, is there some rough formula you use to, with all the different mana dual lands involved? Yeah, I cert, well, I certainly, it's not like a, a formula necessarily, but I certainly uh, count like the different colored sources and everything, um, and and everything like mana or like decks that like you need like one color of mana like the first turn or two if you need like that color of mana um, 
for sure. Like that's like your dominant color. You're gonna need like a, at the very least like 17 sources. And kind of go from there. Hey, there you go. Thanks, Heart of Bent. That's a good article there. Our opponent really had to think about that dive down. Uh, you won't be able to open up fifth copies of rares and mythics anymore. Yeah, so our opponent on the play, Storm Tamer, Obsession, Obsession. Like, that's their combo deck. One drop, and then turn two, Obsession plus Dive Down, and then another Obsession. Don't think we're going to win this one. Yep, looks like we're just going straight to game three. You start getting gems instead of like you get you get gems instead of the rares. You get 20 gems for the rares and 40 gems for each mythic. No, so like whenever you yeah, that's or that that's that's how it works before now with like the fifth you get points towards the vault. How it will work um, after this is like when the changes happen, if you if you would open up a fifth of like a rare that you already have, like you already have four rares, you open up another one of those rares, so it's your fifth copy. It'll just get replaced with a random rare that you don't already have four of in the same set. If you already have four rares of every single rare in the set, then you get twenty gems. Same thing for a mythic. If if you open a mythic and you already have four of the mythic, then it just gets replaced with another mythic that's in the set. If you already have if you have already have four of every mythic, then it gets replaced with 40 gems. The vault isn't changing, it's still gonna be there. It's for like your commons and uncommons basically now work towards the vault or whenever you get extra cards, because you can still get extra rares or mythics through drafting, you know, like you already have four of like every rare and you do a draft and you, you know, you open up rares in the draft, like those rares will still go towards the vault like, like they're normally going to right now. The vault's not going anywhere. Yeah, so the opening up packs thing is definitely way better than the vault getting gems. That's like a real good payoff. Oh, really? Oh, in draft you get gems after it's done for the rare mythic? Okay. Never mind. Well, scratch that. I guess in in draft now you get gems. I think these changes are coming on Thursday whenever the new set comes out. What if my opponent does, doesn't have a counter spell here? What if they don't counter this? Uh, I stream seven hours a day from three to ten every single day. So it's got to be Trickster. I don't want to attack Tajik into Trickster. Huh. No Trickster. Hmm. So seven cards, no counters. Try it again. Does it work?
work again. Because I don't want to shock in for Druidic Vow, and also Druidic Vow would only be four there. I want to have Druidic Vow for five, so I want one more mana. It's really unfortunate. So the problem with playing just an angel here is they trickster the angel, they kill us with Tempest Gen. Thanks, Oho. So I guess I'm gonna just Druidic Vow for four and hope I hit Shalai plus Aurelia. I was really hoping to draw a land and be able to Druidic Vow for five. It's just an extra card plus extra mana that we could hit. Yeah, they could be sitting with like Essence Scatters. And probably like Bounce Spells or like what, like Creature Removal and Essence Scatters. Uh. Um, don't think I'm changing anything. Let's try again. Yeah, there was all the land war elves. Could have used those earlier. Okay, DJ Poly B says, "What's Todd's favorite fruit?" Trust me, I know the answer. First correct gets gets a sub. All right, so if, if you're not subscribed to the channel, try to guess my favorite fruit. Ooh, Lee the Panther, guess again. Imaji already guessed that. Or I guess, I guess you could just, I guess you could just guess more than you want. I do love me some pizza. Oh, you don't know the answer? All right. Um... No one said it yet. There you go, Victor. Victor Sh Shive said it there with mango. Said it before DJ Hotness. I think I'd go with mango. Mango's a great fruit. The thing is, I, I like so many of those fruits though. I love pineapple. Pineapple's delicious. Oh, did somebody say mango before that? I think Victor said it first. Do we keep this? Nah. Okay. We got turn three Shalai, turn four Blast. Oh, right after the question? I still don't see the lights saying that. Oh, it's a yeah. The answer is mango. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, okay, never mind. I, I see. I see where you say that. Okay. All right, getting rid of the deafening clarion because I'll just kill my Lanowar off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Lee the Panther with the sub. Let's get some hype. And of course, DJ Poly B gifting one out. Hey, and then we have an anonymous gifter gifting out the sub to Victor. So Victor gets one as well. Thank you so much for the gifter there. All right, Victor gets one too. All right, that gets us to 30 also on the day. So that is pack number 16. Woo, we're going we're gonna to be ready for 
Ravnica Allegiance in a couple days. We will be ready. Let's get Shalai in here. Yeah, mango is delicious. Um, but yeah, I love pineapple, love strawberries. I love apples. Some of those I don't like too much. Um, I like grapes a lot. Bananas are good. Oranges are good. Coconut is awesome. Raspberry and dragon fruit aren't my favorite. I do love coconut, too. Do I just kill off my land war elf? Um, no, I don't play any paper magic, and I don't really miss it too much. Hmm. The problem with killing off my land war elf is that I'm, like, forever away from Urza's Ruinous Blast. Kind of. That's not really that big of a problem. Yeah. All right. I'm killing it. Yeah. Because we'll still have Captain Lannery Storm. They can get us treasures for more mana. Me a really well-grown peach. Actually, I'm not. I'm not a huge peach fan. <laughs> no, you should not feel bad for playing Turbo Fog and Ranked. That's certainly reasonable. All right, so they need to have Spell Pierce here for the blast. Let's hope they don't have Spell Pierce. No Pierce, no Pierce. All right, no Pierce. And that's it. All right, we got our revenge on Mono Blue from last time. Because then we were going to be able to attack with, you know, we we're attacking with both, and we're going to have like the um, Shalai activations and also. Look at everything also. Silver Jackal. Getting that sub in here. Let's get some hype for Silver Jackal. Sub number 31 on the day. All right, earlier, so we're, we're getting another emote slot unlocked, but I'm also going to be cycling out a few of these emotes. Um, so earlier we were talking about this of like some other emote ideas. If you weren't there, if you have some, any of our subs, new subs, anybody who, anybody else, if you have some emote ideas, three subs that I want to get is a five, a five win dream emote, um, a Santa emote for the gifting, the sub gifts, and also a pack emote for like a pack opening emote. Um, those are definitely three that we want there. Um, Do you th do y'all think we really do need a cat butt emote? Some people, oh, a final boss emote. That's a great one. That's perfect. Love it. See, great call there. Great call. That's a that's a wonderful emote. Final boss emote. All right, y'all y'all do you want a cat butt emote? Okay. All right. Cat butt emote. All right, so that'll be five new emotes. Oh no, we have a tie emote. I do not have an O2 emote. Or is, is like the O2 emote supposed to be like celebrating going O2? Yes, your deck is better with 60 cards. Um, it does, it does matter. You draw the better cards in your deck 
a higher percentage of the time. That. I, yeah, I don't have any bow ties. I've done a couple of times. I've done Fancy Fridays, uh, where I wear a suit jacket as well. Would you balance comes? So. <laughs> Alright, so five win dream, Santa, pack opening, final boss, cat butt. Uh, I am not Jim. What if your grandfather's deck only has good cards in it, though? Valley Town's your favorite emote? Nice. Um, England Customs has made all my emotes so far. So I'm going to send them an email and. Uh, I've seen squirrels hit harder. I, I really didn't mind grabbing a land that last time, honestly. The wilds are my stuck shield. on lands here. I don't need to blast yet. All right, if we take the land. That'll give us four, five, six mana. Can't really do anything with six mana though. But I think I just want the land drop. Probably should have just taken the land last time. Play this here, Aurelia. They can chupacabra the Aurelia, but that's fine. Yeah, that'd be nice to have a Hawkeye camera. Um, haven't gotten new emotes in a, a long time. Basically, like, all year. I don't know. I don't remember how much. They would cost. Ah, Assassin's Trophy. I could certainly use the extra mana, so I don't mind that at all. Yeah, it'd be nice to have like a, a camera like over there. I don't know where I'd set it up. I don't know if it'd come from like maybe from the seat put it on the ceiling or something. I don't know where I'd put it, but I just have like my couch over there that Hawkeye's always likes to lay on while I'm streaming. So just go ahead and going ahead and throwing out a block there. Evil, are you certain of your decision? Ooh, they gave us Druidic Vow. They gave us a Druidic Vow. Ooh, a Drought emote to go with the Flood. Like if we're just not drawing any lands at all. I guess I think that's what the is that the Brick emote? That's kind of like the Brick emote. We're just bricking. Yeah, it'd be really cool I to have a, a cat cam. Yeah, I don't think they understand what Druidic Vow does either. <laughs> Snap off the cast down. Yeah, we get Vow for five here. I could just wait though on the Vow also. The game's been going really good. This will not deter me. Um I don't know, I'd have to I'd have to, you know, buy a, a cam and Get it set up somehow. I'm not very, I'm not the best at the technology stuff. And then, yeah, it would just be in the upper left corner. Could have cat cam. It is best if you stop.
And meet my newest friend. Man. All those good cards we have to put down at the bottom that we don't get to get with Druidic Vow. Now our Druidic Vow is just going to be like all lands. Does anybody know what Vow does, to be honest? <laughs> That's a good question. A sub goal counter to get Cat Cam. Ooh. I don't know where would I. I don't know where I'd put the cam. I guess I have the pedestal there. Okay, I could actually maybe make it work. Please but then stop. I don't know how I'd get that cam to connect to my computer from way over there. Hey, what's up, Casey Nelson? No one knows the wilds like I, I watch 24-7 cat stream. Heck yeah. Alright, we're attacking here. So we can get extra... Extra mana for this Druidic Vow. Okay, a cat bed tower by the computer. I could set it like right here. All right, so we have to vow for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Vow for nine. Whew. This turn though. All right, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna minus one this Karn. Oh, I guess I only have two Karns. I don't have to worry about. I don't have to worry about uh, getting a re replica Karn. Yeah, I thought we were gonna hit a big land patch, to be honest. All right, there's the adventurous impulse. That could have been a Mox Amber. Um, yeah, I'll pay two life, whatever. All right, so we got five mana right now. So I could blast, or I could go get this Dawnbringer. You are only hurting yourself. Or shall I? I'm gonna go get shall I? Decisive action is needed. Oh no! Finality! Finality kills all my things. I need to get Dawnbringer. Oh, it doesn't kill Aurelia. Oh, finality. I had to get rid of some stuff. Had to get had to get rid of some of their creatures there. Add a bunch of mana, put a bunch of counters on here. Yeah, I lost the tokens, but I got I need the or I got the extra pump effect with the Tristani. Okay. Uh, against Golgari, I'm just putting in this extra blast and cutting one card. Maybe cut a Tajik or a Rada or a Dawnbringer or a Hawatli. I'll just cut the Hawatli. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I like that. Put in Blast, take out Huali. Okay. That'll work. Do your best. Everything you can. Alright, can we beat Golgari in a cyborg game and move to 3-0 and with round number two of Nye Legends?
Man, I wish I would have had like these legendary cards earlier and been like tuning this deck for a little while um, before the end of this format. This deck's so much fun. And I, I feel like it's not a bad deck, you know? Like, I think it's pretty good. And especially just, just playing it more and tuning it more. Especially the sideboard. I think we could have got somewhere with this deck. Alright, and part one is going up on YouTube right now. Um, I've only played Blasting Cannons one time, and I did flip it that time. I had Mox Amber, Shalai, or Shauna, no, Sh or Amara. Mox Amber, Amara, and Alana War Elf, and played those and flipped it, and also my opponent was down at two life, and so the flipping it killed them. Yeah, the 15-0 was Hadana Stompy. Um... Man, Runus Blast is our best card, so I, I love the hand with the Runus Blast, but we just can't keep this. Keep that. Uh, no, I don't necessarily have the best record with this deck. Uh, it's It started off even a tad more janky, less consistent than where we're at right now. I... I don't know if I have. I think I've I five win. I've gotten five wins with this deck just once. I think. I haven't played it a ton though. You need a Zakama in the sideboard. Whoa! Our opponent is already. Already Ravenous Chupacabra. -ing? This game just started. We're already playing Chupacabra. Please do not play Vivian. I just want them to, to keep playing non-legendary permanents. Okay. So Karn dies to Contempt, but so would Aurelia, but Karn only dies to Contempt. Karn doesn't die to another Chupacabra. I am Karn. So I'm playing Karn. You may regret that choice. <laughs> Ravenous Chupacabra. -ing. Yeah, who's this planeswalker? Probably not Karn, right? Your efforts are futile. Okay. Don't don't mind getting more mana. Yeah, it's a it's a good verb there. Chupacabra ing. No, not from playing limited only. I spent, I've spent probably around three hundred and fifty dollars on cards on arena, and I've certainly earned a whole lot from playing constructed. Um, so I've been playing constructed here for seven hours a day for the last two and a half months. So I've certainly earned a ton from constructed also, but I. And, uh, but I, I did play a lot of limited of Guilds of Ravnica at the beginning also. Okay, so Blast cost five. So we need to draw a three mana or less legend to be able to play the legend and also play Blast. That would be ideal. Did not get there. Um, so they only have six on the battlefield. They don't have lethal. So let's let's go Vivian tick up and look for a cheaper legend. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. Sorry about things that I said. Shauna's perfect. Shauna doesn't die to Chupacabra. Perfect.
Hmm. Looks like they're they're mousing over their Llanowar elf. The problem with Hmm. If I sack if I do sack Shauna and they sack Plague Crafter, they can attack Vivian for lethal. I don't think they're going to sack Plague Crafter, though. I guess it's possible they do. Yeah, they're mousing over their Llanowar Elf. I didn't think... So I thought that they weren't... I didn't think they were going to... Alright, no more trophies. That's good. All right, and we would have drawn the four mana legend also. So we could have gone Rada plus Blast. Uh, I'll just start with the Blast. We're certainly casting that card. Yeah, because I thought even you if... can't stop nature. Even if they would have killed... Um... Vivian that turn, we still could have drawn a legend that cost four or less, which is a lot of legends in our deck. Or they could also just not be able to kill the Dawnbringer kind of thing. Meet my newest friend. One, two, three, four. All right, so shall I protect Lyra? And shall I protect Vivian? They just have they have to have two removal spells here to win. I could have taken the Llanowar Elf and protected against two removal spells by playing Dawnbringer, Shauna, and Llanowar Elf. So I'm I'm a little little not safe here. So yeah, obviously we have to block. They have find finality, it looks like. So find finality can get back Chooper. Chooper and Playcrafter. Yeah, well, Ult Vivian. Oh, baby. It's certainly okay. holding Vivian now. Brings your One, reckoning. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we got new Vivian. I've lost so much already. I won't. No one knows the wilds like I do. Our opponent does like saying good game a bunch. And uh, we can just, I think I'll just go ahead and Adventurous Impulse here. Oh no, Kamal's Druidic Vow. No, that was our top card. No. Yeah, that was a good that was a good comeback. That was a good comeback. What's a good way to deal with mono red? Uh, the angels are really good. Shalai, Lyra Dawnbringer, Tristani Discordant. Those are all very good cards. Um, with uh, life, you know, life gain kind of things. Um, also, just like counter magic. Um, like negating their burn spells and all that kind of things. Um, but yeah, any any kind of life gain is good. Um, even just things that are like 
two for ones like History Banalia or uh, Thorn Lieutenant as like a a two three that whenever they target it you get another thing out. Um, yeah, enraged creatures like Ripjaw Raptor is a great creature against mono red. Even just really big creatures they can't they can't burn like Doom Whisperer is really good against mono red. Um, you have Wild Growth Walker with the life gain there. Vrass's Contempt. It's like the best removal spell because it gets rid of Phoenix, Chain Whirler, any of those, and gains you two life. Of course, Moment Craving, pretty good too. How do we win? We Vivian, we ulted Vivian. We ulted Vivian uh, and then Druidic Vowed for seven. But the turn bef like. We exiled all their things with Urza's Ruinous Blast, and uh, then played Shalai and Lyra, and Shalai protected Lyra, and then I ulted Vivian so they couldn't kill their Lyra anymore. All right, we got the Temple Garden Mirror. I am going to attack Amara into the two one ones. Because, you know, like, they're a March of the Multitude deck, and just keeping their, like, density of creature count low is a good way to, to beat this deck. You know, like, you don't want them to have, just be able to keep going really wide, and then March of the Multitudes just is incredible. So the less creatures they have, the better. Well, we're not going to get the chance. But I would have done that. Hey, Mass. I don't think so, but glad you've been here lurking. Howdy. Together we are wild cards on Wild Growth Walker? Yeah, it's it's an uncommon. It's a good card to use a wild card on. You may just also want to wait recursive um, because on Thursday we're going to have the, the new set and everything and standard will be a tad different. Um... Playing Tristani to make this Shalai really super big. Hey, we got a donation! Casfiend, turn this song up. An option. How's that? For the rest of the song. Um, I think the patch is on Thursday. Yeah, absolutely, Caspine. Tokens. Um, Huali out. Squee. Hey James, things are going real good. Yeah, real good. I'm, I won't be streaming tomorrow. James, taking tomorrow off. 12 hour stream on Thursday. So this is 62. Hang him by a moment. Thank you there, Caspine. Um, 11 a.m. Eastern. Yeah, 11 to 11 on on uh, Thursday for that stream.
Okay, here we go. I took out a couple things that died to Daphne and Clarion. I want all the angels in in this kind of matchup because that's certainly a way for me to win is getting all the lifelink angels. Um, and that's certainly a way for me to win this matchup. We got a slow hand here, but Ru Urza's Ruinous Blast is amazing. Um, so, gonna be keeping this. Hopefully, we can just untap with a Shalai and cast it. Yeah, Impulse is new in the deck. Trying trying an Impulse over the Mox Diamond as like another way to hit lands, because sometimes we keep like a hand like this and we just can't get, get the lands, and so Impulse is basically a 26 land. Um, there to go along. We have 25 lands, 4 land werewolf, and the 1 impulse. We have basically 30 mana sources if you're counting the land werewolves, half the deck. Yeah, Nia Legends 2.0 is currently 3-0. Wow. Those are not, not good draws for us. Drew. Those are 3 bad draws. If we get a land here, I think I'm playing Karn. So Karn can tick up and look for another land. Wow. That's just pretty incredible. I mean... Yeah, just drew... Drew four uncastables. Okay. Now, I mean, I'm I'm just kind of dead now. I had, I mean, I have to play Shalai to block with Shalai. Otherwise, we're taking lethal. And then, I guess my hope is Tristani. I don't think Tristani really saves me though. Now, Tristani, Tristani can save me if they have nothing. I mean, I, I basically have 26 lands. I have I have an Adventurous Impulse, which acts as another land. And I also have four land of I mean, we kept, we kept a three lander on the draw, and I didn't draw a single land for... Oh, Karn, make a, make a creature? I guess I didn't really consider that. Yeah, that was actually probably a better play. It was just Karn, make a creature. That was probably a better better play. Yeah, that was probably just better. If they attack out at me. Of course, if they, if they attack Karn, then I don't need to block... But if they attack at me, then I block. Karnmega token wasn't death. Or like, it was the turn I played Shalai. If, if I did Karnmega token the turn I played Shalai, that's, that's what we're talking about. Well, it wasn't turn four, it was like turn... You know, whatever, because we didn't hit the land drop. So it was like turn five, not turn six, I think, or something like that. But yeah, that was. Could have had something a little better there. Alright, I'd like a 4-drop here. Wouldn't mind a 4-drop. That's a good 4-drop. Good job, deck. I will defend my allies. It's 
So unfortunately, Timber Gorge means we may not be able to blast next turn. I could see them like tribunaling the Karn. And okay, no tribunal. Oh yeah, this deck with Stomping Ground certainly, cer certainly Stomping Ground will be an upgrade. How convenient, an excellent choice. So I think I'm just gonna go Timber Gorge Shalai. Yeah, playing against a fairy is kind of annoying. We haven't. I don't think we played against a fairy deck like all day today. Lucky. Why would they give us the Tristani over the land? That's kind of weird. This is kind of like a mid. This is a mid-range deck. I don't think our opponent's sniping with that decision. They already knew about the Timber Gorge, the fifth mana that they that they had for us. Sorry, excuse me. I do not feel pain. So I can blast right now and exile all their stuff. Is it worth it to wait? Not really. What was lost is now returned. I certainly want that extra mana. So I just went ahead and minus Karn and got a land. Yeah, Blast just exiles on everything. <laughs> So don't have to worry too much about that. It just gets everything. Yeah. Not Cleansing Nova. Even better. Um, I thought about making a token here. Yeah, Blast is so good. This is a really good blast matchup too. Take this, they go to five. I thought we can just be aggro here. Cause I get to just like, you know, chump with like these tokens and even another Tristani. We got another Tristani. Well, if my opponent does not attack, they they will just die to Shalai in the air. So they're just dead to Shalai in the air. I guess we just do that. I guess we just do that. I guess. I'm excited for the Bant Legends with Growth Spirals and Hollowed Fountains and Breeding Pools. Breeding Pool is a big addition there. And yeah, Growth Spiral will be real nice. Yeah, that deck's going to be sweet. All right, 4-0. 4-0. Ooh, we could get a 5-0. This isn't even the final boss yet. I mean, it's like final boss part one. But if we if we lose, then we get final boss. But if we win, we're just good. So, would y'all would y'all call this five and zero? Or sorry, would y'all call this a uh, final boss? Like, this is like the five zero boss, but it's not the final final boss. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. All right, so so you can play final boss twice in a row. Okay, so this is the final boss, and, the, and then if we lose, and the four-one fight is using a continue. Okay, we have we 
for gaining four and oh, we, we gain an extra life. Yeah, there you go. D-Max is final boss with an extra life. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Dude, final bosses are always so good. They always have such good hands. We got this land war elf. I was playing the 5-0 emote to have like a... A, um... Um, a dream, you know, like a, a cloud and everything. Getting the five win. Yeah, Weather Light's a good card. It's a legendary that that is good card advantage that finds a lot of other legends. Good card. All right, so we need Urza's Ruinous Blast. Urza's Ruinous Blast is the card we need. That's our card that gets rid of Wild Growth Walker. Wow, no blocks. That's good for us. Heck, next turn we could Val for four. Nah. Never mind, they killed this. Alright, so they only got three cards left. Do I play Dawnbringer here? Karn minus, make a 2-2? Two -two? Why not play Black Lotus? <laughs> I just did a competitive run where my opponents were all mono red and I went 7-0. Nice. Um, I mean, they yeah, they could certainly have like Vivian or something like that. All right, so hopefully they don't have a removal spell here. But even if they do, then we'll have Dawnbringer and hope they don't have a removal spell for that. Ugh, so they have the first removal. Hopefully that's all their removal. We're gonna certainly need to hope that, and to hopefully draw land. So we need to draw land, and then have no more removal. This doesn't even save us. Maybe they don't attack though. I don't know. People are people are weird. Sometimes they just don't attack. Maybe they don't. We could win this if they don't attack. With everything. Maybe they just attack with Wild Growth Walker. I could see that. I could see them just attacking with Wild Growth Walker. Tilt. We could have won that if they only attacked with Wild Growth Walker. No, I guess we couldn't anymore, because Dawnbringer would have died. Nah, we couldn't win that. We were out. All right, let's get this other Blast in. Put in Blast, take out Huatli. That's what we did last time. It worked. Let's try it again. Yeah, they wouldn't be a good final boss if they didn't attack. That's true. Dude, our final bosses have been so good the last two days. Like, their draws and everything. Like, look at that. You know, like, they had Wild Growth into Jade Light into Chupacabra, Chupacabra. Blast is such a good card, but we can't keep that hand. Yeah, we had a our we played against like a green white tokens person yesterday with like a perfect draw. Uh Boros aggro earlier with a perfect draw. We just had our final bosses have had really good hands. Which is what you want from final bosses. So Tajik into Lannery. I, if I can, 
I want to play Landry first if I can attack and get the attack off and gain the treasure because I want the treasure. Tajik just trades with Branch Walker. And then possibly they don't have another blocker for Lannery Storm here. Interesting. They didn't block. Interesting. Ah. Uh. Come on, land. Ooh. Hmm. No! Okay. I'm kind of expecting Chupacabra, which is why I'm not going to play Shalai immediately. I want to play Tristani next turn. Yeah, Twitch, yeah, the the replays are, some of the replays are muted. You can, you can see unmuted replays on YouTube. You can check out my YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. Get Trasani in here. Thanks, Nerzilla. Blech. Infinite Chupacabras. I'm not killing their Chupacabras because they're Memorial to Follies. I want, you know, I want to be able to exile these things with like a Urza's Ruinous Blast. Oh. Stop! Ugh. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. Draw and fire. Hey, Hawkeye. I need your help. I need your help, Hawkeye. All right, we need to untap with Dawnbringer and also draw Kamal's Druidic Vow. Is that really too much to ask for? Hawkeye, we need your help. The wilds are my shield. All right, Hawkeye's looking at their screen. Probably means they're going to get some bad card. That card's still not bad. I don't, need, I don't think they have bad cards in their deck. Okay, so Amara's not a bad like draw. That, huh? You know, it's a legend that is kind of hard to kill. It's not hard to kill at all, but I've seen things that would Vivian what doesn't kill it. Like it, it. It doesn't have like a huge target on its head of like our opponents like, all right, I gotta kill that kind of thing. I still need to draw Juridic Vow here. 
Oh, never mind. Sure, why not? Why not have that also? Just, just why not? Yeah, I don't I don't think I have an out here. Um the only thing is or Tristani. I need Tristani. Tristani is an out. No. Nope. Just all the chubacabras. And Vivian and Ritual of Soots and Contempts. Just every removal spell. Alright, we gotta gotta use our extra life on this final boss. Yeah, right? Ritual of Soot. Like, they have, like, Ritual of Soot is so much better against their deck than against my deck. But it was really great there. Alright, Hawkeye. Hmm. I think we can try this. Yeah, I think we can try this. Get this. Um, Shauna into Tajik. Yeah, the other three videos are all up on YouTube right now. Already. <laughs> That's pretty good, Mr. Previously. Continue. Yes or no? Clicking yes. <laughs> yeah, light side. I'm not going to be a part of it. I will be taking the day off, and I'm going to be there for a 12-hour stream on Thursday. Mox Amber is not so bad in the deck. We've certainly played Mox Amber quite a bit with this deck. Um, it's it's really it's good when you have the early legends. If you don't have the legends right away, it is not too good. All right, I like getting Amara in here. All right, so we got Grixis for this final boss. For final part, final boss part two. Ooh, resolve. So of course, Captain Landry Storm helps out the mana. You know, gets me a land there, which is why I played it. So it looks like our opponent's probably going to ritual sit all the, away all these things because they wouldn't be a final boss if they wouldn't just have the best card they could have. No, I think I think Lantern Storm for getting the the treasure was better. Could be wrong. Maybe, maybe Tajik. I guess, I guess Tajik gets the counter on, so we deal one extra point of damage, two extra points of damage, and then like we could lead up with, we could lead with Lannery Storm the next turn and have it get a treasure and maybe stay alive to gain more treasures. Final bosses are so good. Yeah, I think I, I'm thinking I should have just played Tajik. I would rather have a, a Lannery Storm here now. 
But I guess I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been able to have done the, the two spell the last time. These final bosses have just been real difficult. I advise you may regret that choice. All right, which land are you giving me? Well, we wouldn't have been able to cast a because our Tajik's dead. Um, I'll still play this. No, I have, I don't have a glorious, uh, Primeval's Glorious Rebirth legendary deck. That's certainly one that I, that is on the docket for next set, uh, where we're going to get some more, uh, White Black Legends also. The multiverse is at my disposal. Yeah, so they, they get to just kill Karn and then kill Dawnbringer. Or shall I? Oh, looks like we're down a down a game. Those two ritual of sets. All right, let's try again. I'm not gonna beat the nickel bolus. So Blast is out. We get Blasting Cannons. Tristani. Um, Carnage Tyrant over Dawnbringer. And uh, do I want Knight of Autumn? Over something. Night of Autumn is not. Hmm. It's another card that dies to Ritual of Sid. I don't want to have just another card that dies to Ritual of Sid, I don't think. It's not a legend that we get off of that, you know, lets us cast Juridic Vow or that we get off Juridic Vow. <laughs> Clarions? Or Coils? Oh, Coils for Bolas? Nah. We'll just kill Bolas with Vivian or whatever else. The thing is, is like, I don't want to just be sitting with, like, Coil in my hand. They make, make me discard Coil with a Bolas trigger. Bolas is such a late game. You think they'll bring in Thiefus Sanity against Angels? I mean, I suppose it's possible. Alright, and this Impulse is probably just going to be another land. Oh, I should be on the draw. Yeah, I think this is actually a better match to be on the draw, honestly. I think the extra card's more important than that first land drop. 
with like all their discard spells and everything and like disinformation campaigns and stuff, I actually think being on the draw is probably a little better for us here. They're just going to use a bunch of discard spells to take our hand anyway, so that I think that extra card's worth it. Maybe they'll take Kamal's Druidic Vow. Because I'm not... I'm not, um... Sold that I'll be able to untap with a legendary creature or planeswalk to, to actually cast that card. <laughs> Alright, Lana, we're off coming in on turn three. Yeah, our opponent still has seven cards in hand. We have four. Ugh. All right. Should have been on the draw. Mistake. Um, you cannot get this art anymore on Lanowar Elf. It was a holiday event. It was a holiday popper event. You can't get it anymore. Good news is we have Carnage Tyrant that they decided not to ever take. I really thought one of those discard spells was going to do something about Carnage Tyrant. Like, how are they dealing with this Carnage Tyrant? Are we just going to win because they just don't have lands and just didn't take Carnage Tyrant? just didn't didn't take Carnage Tyrant. I would move. I'll make use of that later. Alright, keep the land in hand to protect these spells. Whichever four drop we get here, protect whatever we get from a disinformation campaign. But yeah, we, we won this and then yeah, our opponent will most likely choose to be on the play. And I'd prefer that. And here we go. Game three. Yeah, I didn't have the mana, mana for Carnage Tyrant, but I was pretty close. Especially with that second one that didn't take the Karn. I guess they couldn't really answer the Karn right away, and they had to just... They were just hoping I was bricking on one land, because I was, I was only one land away from the Carnage Tyrant with, like, cards in hand. Final round, final boss. Okay. Hmm. We are on the draw. I really like keeping seven cards in this kind of matchup, but we just can't we can't keep that. Alright, we can keep this though. Yeah, Mighty Air, it's been a really good day. Um but yeah, I'm glad I'm glad you're learning about Cyborg in there, Yud. All right, let's de defeat the final boss. Ha, huh, joke's on you, my hand's terrible. Nice, they took the, the weakest card in my hand, Shauna. 
The card I certainly cared about the least. So that's good. We can have Lannery Storm and Weatherlight coming up. And Lannery Storm can crew Weatherlight if we sack a treasure to crew it. Chupacabra? That card is great. You don't see that too often in Grixis decks. That's a great card, though. All right, now we need to just draw some creatures to crew this weather light. <sighs> um, a lot of new subs today, especially, but we had had a lot of gifted subs. We had uh, 16 gifted subs today. Hmm. They can't have counter magic also, right? With all the discard and removal they've been playing, they probably don't have a counter spell in there. Yeah, no counter spell. How this thing goes is up to you, pal. So if I balance comes. If I minus and get rid of the disinformation campaign, then Chupacabra can kill Vivian. Worst case scenario here is Aldus Reborn. That is absolute worst case scenario. Really hope they don't have that. Contempt is not the worst case scenario. <laughs> uh... I'm not losing everything again. Bleh. All right, and the opponent did not attack with Chupacabra because I guess they were expecting to block this Tajik, but I was I took the Tajik to be able to crew Weatherlight. Now let's hit him and look for some kind of legend. Oh man, if I could resolve Druidic Vow next turn, that would be great. Do I just take that to try to resolve that? Or I could play Grand Warlord Rada right now. Because yeah, I could play land, play Rada, and have just Rada in play. Um, so we're going to have... If I take Vow, we could Vow for 5 next turn. It's definitely possible they don't... Well, okay, if I take Vow and they kill Tajik, I can't I cannot cast Vow if they just kill Tajik. So actually I think I need to take Vow. Or I mean I have to take Warlord Rada, sorry. I have to take the Rada, because if I if they just kill Tajik, I won't be able to play the Vow. And and plus they could just have another discard spell, another disinformation campaign or something to get rid of that. So I, I like taking the the Rada and just kinda emptying my hand so we're not playing against the discard spell. Of course, earlier I, I discarded second white source over second green source because second green source is more important, you know. But then we've only drawn green sources, so if we find a card that's double white, we won't be able to play it. Ugh. And they have Eldritch Reborn for Vivian coming up. Weatherlight's only yes, it's legendary, but you need to crew it to make it a creature. So it's not it's not a creature right away. Ooh. That's a good one. That's a good one.
What? We whiffed. At least we put a whole bunch of lands down at the bottom. Oh, and they're random. We can't see them. We put four lands and an impulse. Basically, five lands down to the bottom. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. No, weather light. The wrath of Scala. No, my boat. Now my dino doesn't have a boat to drive around anymore. I, no, the boat. Yeah, it makes you miss vehicle decks. Yeah. You played Start Your Engines, Trample, Dreadnoughts. Oh, that was a good deck. Oh. <laughs> you have to do better than that. Alright, July. I need some help. Come to me. Man, how good would a like a sure assemble would have been right there if we would have just had a sure assemble? You know, put a counter on our Carnage Tyrant, give it plus one plus one so it killed the Vivian also, we would have just taken out all three of those. Hopefully they're just sitting with Thought Erasures in their hand. Thief of Sanity. They did play Thief of Sanity against the Angel deck. Honestly, Thief hitting me is probably better than a Vivian tick up. This stupid Elder Reborn getting our Vivian read. The wilds are my shield. Thankfully, they don't play tons of creatures, and Vivian can't get like the removal spells. We're so close to being the final boss, but we're so far away. Like they're so far ahead. They they have the campaign engine, Thief of Sanity engine, Vivian Reed. Uh, so they just have, so they have moment of craving. You guys have to say no blocks. And then I just kill Vivian. Or try to kill Vivian. Our opponent gets such good cards from our deck. Thief Sandy gets some, so many mythics to choose. <laughs> no, I sideboarded out Blast. Yeah, Blast is not in the, the the deck right now. Don't think, don't think we can win. Uh, Val is taken. Are lessons written in skin. 
Ugh. Mitch Our weather light breaking that turn was really bad. But still, I don't know. Yeah, they had moment there. And I attacked with Shalai because if I didn't attack with Shalai, Vivian would just kill Shalai. So you might as well attack if your creature is going to be dead anyway. That, of course, does allow them to tick up and just find Nicol Bolas, though. Yeah, 4-2. Man, we just haven't beaten a final boss the last two days. We are now going to be 0-5 the last two days against final I bosses. I worse than the likes of me. Good choice. We could still, we could still draw like Kamal's Juridic Vow. We have one more Vow in our deck, so we have a one in like 36 chance. Well, it's a, actually a lot better than that because we know our bottom cards are not that. Okay, Vivian's a real thing. Vivian kills Nicol Bolas. Let's tear this place apart. <laughs> Get that out of here. Now there's there's two in the deck, but one one got milled over to Thief of Sanity. I've seen things that would break someone like you. We know our our bottom Five cards or lands from the Weatherlight before. And the hit before that was a no Druidic Vow. So we know the, the bottom nine cards are no Vow. So the Vow is somewhere in the top 24. A curious choice. I hit him three times with Vow, didn't I? Or with... Yeah, I hit him three times with Weatherlight, because I got the Tajik also. So we know the the bottom 13 cards are not... Yeah, there was no Vow in the bottom 13 cards. So that, that gets us to 20... So 22, we're looking at 22 cards of getting there of like could be Val. I think Vivian's probably a little better for us on the battlefield than Shalai would be with them having a Vivian. No one knows the wilds like I do. Ah, Tristani, you're a little late. Stein would have been great to get that Captain Lannery storm back. Alright, well they would have countered Druidic Vow. Anyway. Um, so we know... Seventeen. So we know it's one of the top sixteen cards now. 
Your patience is rewarded. Balance comes. It's be tough to win. Oh, uh, I think Tristani's just creatures, right? Yeah, gain control of all creatures they own. Yes, no, we would not have got Vivian back. Yeah, just creatures. They may also just think I'll have the mana to pay for Syncopate. So if they Thieves Sanity attack me, they get the trigger, but then Vivian can kill Doom Whisperer. They probably don't care if Vivian kills Doom Whisperer, though, because they got millions of cards and everything. Yeah, you can find the decks from earlier in the stream with exclamation point decks. You can see all my decks there. So that's uh, where you can find them. Streamdecker.com slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG is the link. Really easy one to remember. And that's... Uh, that's where you can always find all my decks. I did it right right above you, big big wing. I put the link in right above you. So Yeah, right there above you. Alright, blasting cannons or other Vivian. Ugh, no Val. You can't stop nature. Just really want to see those cards, but we were dead. Dang, final bosses just keep getting us. Keep getting us. All right. Hey, had a lot of fun with Nia Legends here. I like where the deck's at. Your Wally. name will be lost to history. Final boss too strong. Too strong. Yep. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't think I changed anything. I like where we're at. But yeah, if you're watching this over on YouTube, um, of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button there on YouTube. And um, thanks for watching.